when I got something to do, I, I work all day. Get tired of it, I start something else. I have to run all over the while, get paint, get this, get that. I need some more automobile wheels right now. Make some heavy stands. That's it. Well, I got a, had a lot of material left over, and I didn't want to just kill a salvage it. And I put most of it out there to paste. I worked 10 years putting that out there to paste every weekend for 10 years. Give or take a little bit on Sunday. Stayed with it, no help, period. The only help I had out there was well digging, dug a hole for the horses. It's 16 foot deep. I dug the rest of it with a damn hole digger. Everybody made fun of me and laughed at me and didn't pay them no damn mind. My daddy made us all work. I'll give away a hundred and hundred and the fifties on the next hundred to disabled children and handicapped children. I see some pitiful ones come in here. And uh, the pitiful thing I've seen was a 14-year-old girl. They were a religious crowd come from up in the mountains somewhere on three of them stretched vans. But this lady come up here with Behind that little 14 year old girl with her hands on her shoulders, said, Mr. Sampson said, This little girl wants to see blind, been blind all her life, wants to go in there and see your windmills. Well, it hit me like a ton of bricks. And uh, I went and turned the lights on, and I told her, I said, I'm going to be gone about 20, 15, 20 minutes. I went home and get, got her a nice little windmill and gave it to her. You ought to see them hands. Of course, that was her eyes, you know. I sat that out there on, the car, on one of the tables, and that hand went all over. I'm kind of, kind of, kind of things like that kind of hits me. Well, that well that I bought. I uh, had a little old shelter out there. Uh, I had the man to run a walk across the road. 
and uh, I caught my shirt to fall, caught my breeches to fall. I was used to welding. <laughs> and you know, I finally decided, uh, my older brother owned this land here, and he said, we can build your shop over here. My daddy wanted me to build one at the house. But my older brother wanted me to, I kind of helped him out for him too. I made self, self-propelled self biker sprays. I made the first one to made in this country. There's a lot to know about paint too that I had to learn how. Paint, you know, a clabber and you can't mix this, you can't mix that. And when you clabber, you're, you're making a mess. You got to wipe it all off and clean it up and paint it again, you're going backwards. But once in a while, you're running into that. I didn't know much about paint. To start with, I had to learn how, and now I've done so much of it, it comes natural. I don't even use a ruler much. I, I can go down on a hacksaw, and I can come within a damn eight minutes, and I'm guessing at it. If I cut a 25, or 30, or 100. And that marking, you got to get it just right. But the road cap, everybody's been messing around. <laughs> somebody, somebody stole my little stainless steel thing there. I have water the birds and the dogs and the animals. Uh -huh. <laughs> I cut something. 